these days there has been a lot of focus on merging the llms for instance on hugging face at the moment we have more than half a million large language models of every flavor and variant there is a huge focus on merging those models i recently have covered various papers and demonstrations on different techniques as how this field is evolving in this video i am going to show you how you can use this new research kit which is called as merge kit to merge large language models it's not as new but there have been some improvements two months ago i did a video on it as how you can merge two models on the colab but for the purpose of this video i am going to do it locally on my ubuntu system before i do that let me give you a bit more technical conceptual overview of what exactly this model merging is and how exactly it works model merging involves sophisticated methodologies to blend the architectures parameters and learned knowledge of multiple pre-trained machine learning models into a cohesive enhanced model this technique is particularly nuanced when the models to be merged have been trained on varied data sets or designed for distinct tasks the objective is to harness the combined strengths and expertise of these models to improve generalization performance and efficiency on a wider range of tasks or more extensive data sets and that is where this research by all of these researchers from acri really shines through they already have this github repo which i already have covered in my another video but if you want to try out different merge technologies i think this is a treasure trove of uh, different merging methodologies and, and i will drop the link to it in video's description too if you look at this architecture this is what i have just described in terms of model merging and if you look at this uh, left hand side you will see that there are different merge methodologies which you can use and they have uh, different in different cases for example we have slurp deer model soup or linear and ties let me go through them one by one linear in this case or model soup combines model by averaging their parameters or outputs assuming alignment in their structures whereas slurp which we will be by the way using in our demonstration today stands for spherical linear interpolation and it interpolates between model parameters on a hypersphere it is useful for smoothly transitioning between models then we have task arithmetic it is not mentioned here as such it merges models by applying arithmetic operations such as addition subtraction on their outputs to emphasize or blend their tasks then we have ties ties stands for task independent embedding swapping this merges model by swapping embeddings or layers that are independent of specific tasks to leverage generic features then we have dare ties dare ties stands for dynamic and robust embedding with ties it enhances ties by dynamically adjusting the swapping mechanism for robustness and adaptability and then there are few variants like dare task arithmetic which does the dynamic adjustment in task arithmetic operations for improve performance and flexibility and then we have pass through pass through is a method where the output of one model is used directly as input to the another enabling sequential processing or layer wise enhancement now there are a lot of other things uh, which are involved in this merge processing as you can see on your screen from the paper if you look at this workflow so what is happening here is that at the top we have these model a and b then we are extracting tensors from them which we want to merge and a tensor in a model is a multi dimensional array used to store data like numbers that the model processes and these tensors can range from a scalar to a vector a matrix or even higher dimensional arrays serving as the fundamental building block of for input output and transformations within the neural network then whatever the architecture we are using for the model 
a merge plan is created tasks are added it is planned and then that graph is executed and we have our merge model as per our merge method and we just saw what merge methods could be there could be slurp ties or whatever okay now i will be as i said will be using merge kit to merge two models on uh, my local system so let me take you to my local system and then we will go from there let me lo log into my local system and i am going to use my ubuntu 22.04 which has one GPU of around uh, 16 GPU of VRAM and I have 32 GPU of memory. Now the advantage of this merge kit is that even you can use it on CPU with plenty of memory at least 32 GB for the smallish models. So it is quite resource optimized. Let me clear my screen and the first step we need to do in order to start using this merge kit is to git clone its repo let me do that git clone and then url it is going to clone it that is done let's cd to this directory that is also done and now i am going to install all the uh, requirements here let's wait for it to get finished this takes a bit of a time sometime so let's wait and as you can see there it has been everything all the prerequisites are installed let me clear my screen now uh, before i move forward let me show you one thing let me cd back to the directory and this is a yaml file which is the heart um, and soul of this merging process this is all we need in order to merge the two models and as you can see as per this file, I am merging this tiny llama model with uh, this garage Platypus 13 billion model. And I am using this tiny llama as base model. Now you can just swap these models with any of the similar model with the same architecture. And for the purpose of this, I am just using uh, four layers, so 0 to 3. Now this is all you need in order to merge the models. Let me describe this. Uh, file line by line so again this is a whole file for configuration of merging two models slices here is indicating which part of the model to be merged you can merge the whole model or you can just simply select few of the layers so i am only selecting uh, these zero to three layer so layers are which make up the neural network we have input layer and then we on, on one end and we have output layer on the other end and in between we have hidden layers and whatever uh, parameter you input they pass through those hidden layer and then there are weights and biases gradients and then um, of max function lot of things have happen between in between that process and you get the output so those are the layers which are just picking up for the purpose of this demo i'm just picking three layers because even with that one it takes a bit of a time the resources so i'm just picking these layers now uh, as i mentioned earlier i'm merging or blending these two models now the method which i'm using is slurp as i mentioned earlier slurp stands for spherical linear interpolation and this is a method through which we'll be merging the model and slurp is used for interpolating between two sets of model parameter in a way that maintains a constant pace across the transition and it is ideal for blending model in a high dimensional space and by default this is my method uh, go to method to do that then we have various parameter which um, these are specific interpolation parameter for different part of the model for example this is a filter for self-attention layers and interpolation values are these here and these are dictating how these layers should blend between the two models then I have a filter for MLP or multi-layer uh, perceptron component and the, these are the interpolation values which are indicating a different blending ratio for these parts. And then I have a fallback value of 0.5 which is specified for the rest of the tensor suggesting an even blend for components not covered by the previous filter. And then I am specifying the D type or the data type for the merged model parameter should be float 16 which is a choice that balances 
computational efficiency with precision and it is a com very common uh, value which is used in AI model to speed up calculation and reduce memory usage. So this is all we need to use. I already have locally saved it in merge config.yaml file. Okay. So this is all there is to it. Now let's proceed further. In order to start the process of merging, let me first clear my screen and then fire up my Python interpreter. And then from here, I'm going to first specify some of the variable. Maybe I'll exit from here and create a directory called as merged. This is where I'm going to uh, save my model. The merged model, I mean. Go back and Python 3. And now let me specify that output path where I'll be uh, storing this. And then I'm just using that low rank adaptation merge cache, which will be just stored the cache in the temp directory. And as we saw earlier, this is our config YAML file where, it'll, where all the configuration is. We just also want to pick up the tokenizer from the model which we are using, Tiny Llama. And then we are specifying the lazy unpickle is equal to false. And this uh, lazy unpickle is simply um, a concept from the Python programming. And primarily, it uh, unpickling means to convert a byte stream or the serialized object into an object hierarchy in the programming. And when we set it to false, it means that this unpickling process will be eager that it will immediately and fully deserialize the object from its serialized form. That is what it is. Okay, and then let's also uh, use the low CPU memory is equal to false. And now let's import our libraries. I'm going to import PyTorch and YAML. I already have them installed PyYAML and Tor PyTorch on my system. Let's import some of the merge git stuff here. We already have installed it. We are in that directory, so it should be able to do it. Now let's specify and load our merge config by using Python command here. That is done. So we I'm just reading the config.yaml file and storing it in the merge config. Now, in order to merge the model, all we need to do is to run this command let me paste it here this is a command which we need to run and it has already started merging it as you can see on your screen it is loading the models answers first and that speed of course depends upon your uh, system speed and then it will start merging so let's wait for it to finish and this will take long time by the way the model merging process i mean if you look at the run merge command, all we are doing it, we are specifying our merge config here, output path, and all the options which we have just put it in our variables, all the default ones. Let's wait for this one to finish. And the first model has been downloaded, and second model is being loaded right now. It is a big model. As you can see, there are four tensors. It is going to take a bit of our time. And you can see that models have been downloaded, both of them, and now it is merging them. And if you look at ETA, it is at the moment showing us around four minutes. So let's wait uh, to see what it happens. It could increase or decrease depending upon the merging. It is now at 99%. Let's wait for it to finish. And eventually the model merging is done as you can see here. Let's exit from here and go to our merged directory where we should see the merged model. If I do ls ltr, there you go. You can see that all the tensors of the model, the new merged model are there with the tokenizer and our readme file which have all the information. Now uh, you can just use it locally by using any um, uh, transformers library or whatever Python script you have. And I have done various videos on how to run models locally. You can even load it in your uh, tools like LM Studio or whatever tool you have. Or you can even push it to hugging face in your own repos 
in order to share it with the world let me go back to the github repo and i will show you the instructions as how you can upload it to hugging face first step go to hugging face uh, website which is huggingface.co log in uh, with your email account if you don't have an account there just sign up with your email it's free then on the top right click on your face click on settings then on the left hand side click on access tokens and then create a new token make it right because you will be writing and then just give it any name and click on create and it will generate a token for you grab that token and then go back to your terminal in python and then there you need to run these commands first just type hugging face type cli login it will ask for your token just give it the token which you just created and then simply do hugging face dash cli upload whatever your username is on the hugging face for example for me it is fahad mirza c on the top left here now just put it there and then just give your model any name and from there dot slash you will replace it with merged which is your directory and don't forget to put this dot at the end it will pick up all the files in the current directory from here and upload it to hugging face that is all you need to do so well, that's it guys this is how you can use merge kit to merge the models if you have any questions please ask them in the comments if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed and please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.